packed all the things. Today I have another grocery haul to share with y'all. So on the table I have Walmart, Piggly Wiggly, and Kroger. And then after that I'll show you what I got at Sam's um, separate on the table. And I'll start over here with Walmart. We got two things of the lactose free milk, a thing of whipped toffee, two things of heavy whipping cream, some shredded hash brown, uh, hash browns to do like a hash brown casserole. I made one the other day and used the last of what I had in the freezer. We have been really loving these spreads from Land Lakes. They have um, four or five different ones I know at our store and I think we've tried them all but um, I was out of the honey butter and out of the garlic and herbs so I picked up those. Um, we had a pack of these the other night when we had breakfast for dinner and they were so good y'all. I was very surprised at how good they were. So I picked up another one of those, some just plain vanilla yogurt, a two pack of cream cheese because uh, it's about to be time to start making all those fall desserts that take cream cheese, some shredded lettuce, some sliced pepper jack cheese, some sliced provolone cheese, some mild cheddar cheese sticks. Um, I'm not out of this at home, but Cold and flu season's coming, so I went ahead and picked up some more Sudafed. And then these, I just really like to, they're only like, I think this one's a dollar and this one's two dollars, or maybe it's the opposite, but um, I just pick them up here and there along and along with grocery hauls and put them in my pantry, um, in my prepper pantry and have those extra. Two things of the chicken strips. We made um, some Nashville hot chicken the other night. And I'm pretty sure you'll see that video before you see this video. Either way, it's coming probably really close to each other. So it was so good. So I picked up two more of those. Um, I had one here and I used it. So I picked up two to put back in the freezer. These pickles, um, I've shown you all these before. Jamie had tried them for the first time a couple months ago and he has just been loving them ever since. And they are really, really good. Um, we were out, so I picked up those. They have the spears, too. Picked up some um, freezer bags in the quart size. I had stocked up on some gallon the last time. Got some flushable wipes. I saw these were in stock now for the season, and I thought, that sounds pretty delicious, so let's try that. And this, I thought I would make a, a pumpkin spice cake out of this, and so that's what I picked that up for. We tried this the other day from Food Line and it ended up being really good. So I saw that it was a lot cheaper at Walmart. So I went ahead and picked up another one of those. This is a case of when you're buying online, you can't really tell how big something is. So this is like a tiny little, here's my hand. It's a tiny little bottle of ranch dressing. I meant to get a big bottle, but that's okay. Some yum yum sauce. I've been out of that for a little bit. So I picked one of those up. Some mild banana peppers and some peppers, peppercini, I can never say that word y'all, but those peppers right there. Um, picked up a summer sausage because it's football season and so we have a lot of appetizers on Sunday as our meal. Uh, a lot of times I'll just make an appetizer or two instead of a meal, just pick that up. Some black forest ham, picked up three Lunchables. Sometimes Jamie will take these for lunch to work. Um, I got a ham and cheddar with Vanilla crackers, a turkey and American, and then a ham and American with Oreos. Okay, now Piggly Wiggly. I don't hardly ever go to Piggly Wiggly because it is in a whole nother town over from us, so it's just not convenient for me. It's not that it's that far, it's like 25 minutes, but um, it's just not super convenient when I'm you know, at work and stuff doing grocery runs. But I went this morning before work because we're having an excellent deal on some meat. The only thing is our Piggly Wiggly, y'all. Let me know if you have this at yours. So our Piggly Wiggly is not a real Piggly Wiggly anymore. It's called a Piggly Wiggly low cost. And they add 10% to your total when you get to the register. So if something is a dollar, it's really a dollar ten. But anyway, they had these bags of party wings for $2.99. And so uh, they're two and a half pounds each. And they were $2.99. So I picked up four of those. They didn't have any limits and they had freezers full of them, but I just grabbed four because I don't have a whole lot of room here for too much extra. Um, they're 
Chicken thighs were 99 cents a pound, so this whole pack was $5.45. Um, their ham were $1.69 a pound, so this ham was uh, $16.21. And then their butts, they had their Boston butts on sale. They were uh, $1.39 a pound, I think that says. Anyway. Um, so it was $23.60 for two of them. There's two of them in here, and I'm going to take one out and cook it now. And then the other one, I cooked one the other day, but we used it all. And I want to cook one and cut, put it up in individual servings so that we can just have a quick, like, sandwich or something here and there. And then the other one I'll put up in the freezer for another time. And then the other thing that they had at Piggly Wiggly was their wing sauce, their buffalo wild wing sauce. And... We really never tried any of their sauces. They had them two for five, um, so two fifty, which actually that would be two seventy five because of the extra ten percent. So we tried the Asian Zing, the Asian Zing chili pepper, soy, and ginger. Which now that I'm home and looking at them, that might be the same thing in different bottles. I don't know. A medium in the just regular hot sauce, and the honey barbecue. And that's it from Piggly Wiggly. Okay, from Kroger, we got some grapes. They were 99 cents a pound. And I don't know what happened here, but somehow this whole bag of grapes, you know, I did a pickup order. It's somehow the whole bag of grapes was 75 cents. So, and I know it weighs more than a pound, but I don't know. Anyway, um, their roast, I did not pay $28 for this roast. Their roast was $4.99 a pound. And the way they put them, I picked up two. One is a good size for my family, and one is kind of small. So I would do that one maybe when it's just me and Jamie. But it was $18 for both of them together is how they rang it up. So. And this is Jamie's favorite sausage, so I wanted to start stocking up on it. Um, it's the Lee Hickory Smoked Sausage, so I got three of those. Their Oreos were on sale, and I had seen a dessert the other day I wanted to make that took Oreos. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Their breakfast sausage was $1.99, so I got two of the links and two of the patties. Their craft cheese was $2.49. I got the Mexican blend, a triple cheddar, an Italian, and a mild cheddar. Um, their challenge butter was $2.99. I like the challenge butter okay, um, but I am kind of running low on salted. I have a lot of unsalted here, so I just went ahead and grabbed one of those. <clears throat> I had a coupon to get this for free. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but it was free, so we will try it. Their milk is $1.29 this week, so I got a chocolate and a whole mustard was on sale. I cannot remember how much it was. And the reason I only have one of these pastas is because I had one coupon, and it made uh, this box of pasta $0.40, cents, so I went ahead and picked up one to put in the pantry. Um... Some Lysol laundry sanitizer, a thing of apple juice. We got a regular Cheez It, a snack mix thing of the Cheez Its. I like that one, that's the one I like. These were on sale too. Um, I can't remember how much they were. I think they were $2.99, but they're in the little packages. And I was thinking that Jamie could take these to work. He gets really low blood sugar, um, he doesn't have. Uh, diabetes, he's got the opposite or whatever, where you get low blood sugar. So I thought he could take those to work for a snack to keep in his desk. And then these um, Red Baron French bread pizzas. I don't know if we've tried these before. We've tried Stouffer's, but they were $2.99. And so I thought we would try them. And the last thing that we got was some Briar's ice cream. They were $2.99 and I had a dollar off two coupon and then a $2 off two coupon. So two of them were $1.99 and two of them were $2.49. We got strawberry, we got vanilla, two vanillas, and a mint chocolate chip. And that is it. That is everything that we picked up today. And then right after this, I will show you the Sam's portion of what we picked up. This I actually picked up today and Sam's we picked up over the weekend. And now I have the Sam's portion of the haul, which I'm going to have to voice over. I actually, uh, initially I had just filmed it like I always do and I tell you what I had on the table, but it was really loud this day. Usually when 
I get home with my groceries, it's just me, and so I can film, but it was super loud, plus um, Biscuit even had a little dog friend over that day, and they were under my feet just tapping around. So we got some a 25-pound bag of rice, the 40-count of Zephyr Hills water. Um, their chicken was on sale. A lot of times when you do the scan and go, and I always do the scan and go when I go in the store because then you don't have to stand in the line to check out, uh, but it was an extra $2 off each pack if you did the scan and go, and they were... Um, $16 and something for each of these packs. So they were 14 something for the, those large packs of chicken. And then I got this big, um, 10 pound thing of ground beef. I want to do some, um, freezer prep stuff with that, but y'all, it's just, oh, you see that price there? It's getting expensive. And, um, I might even do a video on that and, uh, bring y'all with me while we put up some stuff in the freezer got some more paper plates, some more of these spicy chicken sandwiches. Um, Y'all know my family does not like the original. They just like the spicy ones. I don't like any of them personally. Um, and these, I saw these boneless chicken bites. I don't think I've ever seen these in there before. I think this was maybe new, um, but I got that to try. And a thing of grape jelly. We were running really low on that. Some asparagus these pretzel bites, I way overpaid for them, but I don't care. They looked really good, and I just thought they would be nice to have, like, on a, a Sunday afternoon or something while Jamie's watching football or whatever. So I went ahead and picked those up. There's two packs of the pretzels and then two packs of the cheese um, that comes with it. I always like to look through the seasonings, and I saw this Kinder's Whiskey Apple. I thought that would be really good on um, some pork or maybe even some chicken. So I picked that one up this time for us to try. Uh, let me know if you've tried that one. We've, we've liked almost all the kinders that we have tried so far. Um, I picked up a 12 pack of crescent rolls. They are the cheapest for us at Sam's. It's $5.98 for 12 of them. And our Walmart is, I think, five or five or $6 also for just um, four of them. So that's a, a big difference. Um, we were running low on Ritz crackers, and that seemed to be a good deal. I can't remember how much more I picked those up. Picked up three rotisserie chickens. Two I went ahead and pulled off the bone and put in the freezer for later, and one I had used that night in a meal we had. And then this big 10-pound bag of russet potatoes, and then these chips. Um, these chips were the Halloween-themed chips. It, the box kind of looks like a coffin or whatever. But you get 75 in there for like, I think it was $21.98 or something. You get the Crunchy Cheetos, the Original Lay's, the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, Funyuns, Doritos, and the Puffy Cheetos. And I knew that my family would eat most of those, and they make it easy to throw them in a lunchbox when you get them like that. But that's it. That's everything that we got from Sam's. Um, if you like these videos, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.